Okay guys, in the other videos, you know, I told you these four panels out of the 10 that I ordered was not connected to anything, and then I showed you that I bought some batteries. Well, let's go take a look and see how it's turning out. Those solar panels are penetrating the wall and coming through this conduit. They do have a fuse outside, by the way. And they go into the studio. And before all you keyboard bandits start hollering about my wiring, I just shut up. We wound up one with 24 volt. Victron Phoenix 24 1200 volt amp and the Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller 100 amp or 100 volt 50 amp. Those panels are hooked two in series and then paralleled with each other. And they're coming in, going through a breaker into the charge controller, which runs down to the lovely batteries. And you can see my rat's nest of shit fastened to the wall back there. But what we've got is some A&L fuses, a couple of bus bars. Uh, these are 2S, 2P, just like the solar panels. We have a, a shunt, and the shunt goes to the meter here. And the system's been up and running for a few days, and I must say, I'm nothing but impressed. Couldn't be ha couldn't be happier. Far outperforming uh, my old system, and if it performs uh, well enough that I forget about it, it ain't no big deal because I won't forget to water the batteries and all that kind of mess. So, uh, so far, I'm nothing. Couldn't be happier with the current setup. And what I've done is, you can tell where all this bird's nest is plugged in together. That that power strip there along the back, all this stuff, this NVR, these monitors, sound bar, everything runs off of that inverter. If we go into the other room, it comes in here, this circuit feeds on around the shop so if the system grows I can go ahead and add more stuff on it but it's doing what I wanted it to do it's powering uh, the backup power for the alarm system cameras secondary PC TV and the shop fridge oops ignore that sticker but so far, that, that refrigerator is very efficient though. I put a kilowatt meter on it and it pulls, I left it on there for about two weeks and it pulls about a half a kilowatt hour every 24 hours. So it's really not putting much of a load on the system. Uh, currently it's cloudy outside, bringing in uh, power is still pretty good. When I first came out here today, this was at like 38 percent and even though it's cloudy like it is it's almost up to 51 and if we check the amperage yeah let me get where you can see right now we're taking 9.6 amps out of the battery and we're bringing in from the solar 11.4 so even with running the stuff currently I'm still putting a charge back into the battery one other little update got a surprise I ordered four more of these batteries it's done well enough that I think what I'm gonna do is parallel Put two more in a series, two in a series, and then parallel those with the other two, and that'll max it out according to the little diagrams on the top and from what I've read on the website. They're saying you can do a maximum of four and then four strings parallel. 
So you can parallel four and you can do up to 48 volt. So that would give me approximately a little over 10 kilowatt hours worth of power on that system. Because right now, when it's super cloudy for like, it rained for like three or four days, I actually had to put a charger on the system to bring the batteries back up. And I believe I'm gonna add, uh, well, I've already ordered it, I know I'm gonna add it. I've ordered some more solar panels and stuff. I'll try to get you some photos and pictures of that kind of stuff when it comes in on the truck and on the pallet and we can go through it and look at it. But anyway, system's up, running great. Thanks guys, bye.